What's going on you guys? So one of the things that I have left to do on this car is put a throttle cable on it. Now a lot of the proper throttle cables that people sell for swaps are like $90. I bought this thing on Summit for eight bucks. It's not even close to fitting, but we're gonna make it fit. So a couple things off the bat here. This is clearly too small. So we're gonna pull this bushing out, weld the plate on there that this can sit in. And then also, since we got rid of the traction control stuff, I'm gonna have to go ahead and tack that down under that bracket. So that way it can move completely and not have all that slop in it. Cause the, uh, the original stop that was on there is no longer there. So we're gonna get that tacked on and put a bracket on that to hold the cable. So now we have our little bracket cut here and that's just gonna get tacked onto there. I also cut a little slit in it so that you can slide it on because uh, the cable's gotta pass through that. Slide that on. So now that that's prepped, I'm going to go ahead and tack that onto there and then tack this onto there. So once we have the cable installed on there, lined up with the throttle body, we'll feed it through the firewall, figure out how short we need to cut that cable down to make it work. So now we have our bracket welded on. We have that tab tack welded down to there. So the cable opens the throttle all the way. Now what I need to do is cut it down because it is excessively long. And to do that, this is where we're gonna dabble our toes into the ghetto aspect of doing something super cheap. Since that cable's only eight bucks, I'm going to cut up the factory cable using the factory lower mount and then cut that cable to length, put these connectors on the end of that one inside the car. Hopefully all works as planned. So I'm going to get this stuff cut up real quick and then catch back up with you guys. Okay, so here is the factory piece that bolts on inside the firewall. The cable is normally a part of this, but what I did is I cut it off and then I drilled out and kind of countersunk it so that way this cable can sit inside of it just like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to take the cable, reinstall it onto the throttle body, and then route it through the hole down in the firewall. And then I'm going to mark off on the cable where it goes through the firewall. And then I'm going to take the cable, take the outer uh, shield, you know, after it's all marked off, I'm going to pull the actual cable back out of it, cut this piece down to the length that I measured out, and then bolt this into the inside of the car, slide it on there, and then it's all a matter of hooking up the ends to the throttle pedal. So I have the cable reinstalled, routed down. Now I'm gonna kind of just straighten it out here a little. Get a little bit of slack. Ah, drop my sharpie. Get a little bit of slack, and then I'm gonna mark it right there, and that's where I'm gonna cut the uh, the shielding on it. That's cut down. Oh, looks like there's a little bit of rubber on there still. And to cut that, I just pulled the cable way out. So we can just feed this back up into there now. And then once we get it in the car, we'll measure out this and then figure out where we need to cut this cable at. Okay, so now that all of this is rerouted, that's bolted back in, 
what I need to do now is come under here and you can see where the cable's routing through here. So I need to mark this cable where it sits flat there because I'm gonna have to put a crimp fitting on that that the, uh, the cable can bite into. Now, to do it, I'm gonna have to put the mark it and then pull the whole cable assembly out. That way I can assemble it with this fitting on here already. Okay, we got our cable out of the car and there is our line where we marked it and that is marked to be flush with the front of that. So what I'm gonna do now to hold it on there is take a crimper and crimp that on there and then probably just throw some heat shrink over it so it doesn't look like shit. Ideally, you would wanna use one of those cable clamp deals, but I don't have any and I got some crimpers. So I'm gonna probably gonna throw one or two of those crimps on it and uh, send it. Yeah, I'll throw at least two on it, at least. So there we go. I threw two crimps on it and then put a vacuum cap on top of it. This focusing is not working, but put a vacuum cap on top of it and then heat shrinked it to make it look a little bit nicer. So now I'm gonna go ahead and throw this back in the car. There we go. The uh, cable and everything is reinstalled. tighten it down still but that will definitely work and as you can see it has uh, gotten dark out already uh, you know it took me about an hour and a half to do if I wasn't recording probably would have took me 45 minutes super easy only cost eight dollars you could do that with probably almost any throttle cable assembly so if you're looking to save some money and you're doing a Jay-Z swap or something like that and you don't want to spend forty dollars on one cable or ninety dollars on a different one you can get that one on summit for uh, i think it was eight dollars so and uh yeah there you go right there there's part number that's the one i used and it'll definitely work so awesome one less thing to do tomorrow Anyways, that's going to be it for this one. So like the video if you liked it. Hopefully it helps somebody out. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Follow the builds along. And I'll catch you guys later.